Ladies, gentlemen, and off-screen victories, I finally beat the running gun level, uh, naturally the first try after I stopped recording, because why wouldn't it happen like that? Uh, and I did just jump right past him. Okay, I want the roundabout. I want the backwards one. Ooh, a charge one. And I also want the parry sugar. Autofill meter. Oh, that's what I need. The super meter to continuously fill. That is what I need. I will save up for that ASAP. So I am going to just get rid of... Yeah. Nope. Just get rid of the first shot. And... Oh, I have to trade? Oh. I forgot that's where that would be. I'm... <laughs> I'm good at parrying. So I'm going to keep that there. And now I get to head back to the dragon. Ugh. That's who I decided I was going to beat. So I'm going to beat the dragon. I think I can do it. Because if his final stage is just that fire, I'm pretty solid on the beginning ones. It's just a matter of... Oops, wrong button. Uh, just a matter of following where the fires are jumping and when. Look at that little shortcut. By little shortcut, I mean, let's time it. Doom, 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 doom. Means eight and a half seconds shortcut. Fiery frolic. Here we go. I'm ready for a wallop. This match will be red hot. Haha, ha, I'm quoting the things it says at the beginning of the battle. Let's see how this works. Wrong one. There we go. Oh, I probably have to face backward. Sue me, man. I was adjusting. Right? Are they going to hit him? They are going to hit him. Okay, but I do have to aim backwards. I like it. Except for here, where I'm facing forward and I'm not dealing any damage. I think I'm going to trade out the red shot for this. Oops. So if I need to, yeah. Okay, that was just a retry. Or not retry, that was just a trial run. That was me discovering how the moves work. But I want the blue one there. Oh, I have the... No, I don't have the blue one there. What is happening? This one needs to be this. And this needs to be roundabout. Okay, so if I need to look at him and shoot, I can. It's more like for the other section where I'm running forwards, trying not to hit him. This one, I'll stay like this, because it worked well enough before. Can I get it? Ah, oh, I need that parry slap. Your fire isn't too threatening. Sorry, Grim. Grim matchstick. I don't know if I mentioned it, but Grim has got to be a reference to, like, Grim Fairy Tales. He's a dragon. Those, mm-hmm, are found in fairy tales. Ha! I like the background in this. Like, the whole castle is just twirling. Do I get to rescue a purdy princess? I sure hope so. Oh, yeah. This is where backwards is gonna be the best. I don't know if... I'm sure sending it backwards is stronger than the normal. Ha. Come on, I just need a little more for that super... I saw the fire start to jump. Didn't know where to go. That's not the final stage. I don't know what I was talking about when I said fire was the final stage. I have no idea what could come after that. Uh, is it gonna be like Little Red Riding Hood or something? I bet it is. Some fairy tale reference. Yeah. Yo. Haha. <laughs> uh, if I'm taking damage here, you almost know I'm going to die later. Exactly. Like now I have no chance of making it. Now I'm doing it just for the practice. Or that. I keep doing that. If you're holding down and you press Z, you fall through the platform. The tutorial told me that, and for some reason I ignored it, like, forever. Perry! Nope, kill me. We're not starting with a point of damage. I almost want to go buy the upgrade where it's, um, you deal less damage, but you get an extra hit point. I don't know how well that would do for me, though. Because I feel like every time I die, it's just from me making a stupid mistake. And yes, with less damage, I'd have more time to make stupid mistakes. But I think, in general, the ratio of stupid mistakes I make would go down. 
if that vaguely coherent sentence made any sense whatsoever. I'm, I apologize for making you listen to it. Okay. Oof. I was going to say, every time I see one start to jump, I should try to dodge. But I shouldn't try to dodge every time I see one jump. That's a terrible idea. Mm, but I did it that time. Not that time, though. Yes. No, I had the super. <sighs> Why do you let little marching men made of fire live in your mouth? I love that he goes to the camera and he's like, Hoo-hoo, you're gonna die. <laughs> one parry. All I really need is one parry, because then as soon as he does the fire, I'll have it charged up enough. Yes. Try to stay near the back, because his tail hits wherever you are. And I like to have room to run around, jump around, and do things. Not just have to avoid the tail like that so often. That's like a super long tail. Two parries. Ah, uh, and I can't use the super move now, naturally. It's okay, I'll get to use it. Right here. Right, he's gonna take damage, he's on screen. I think he only took like half the damage he should have with that. Come on, little fire guys. I saw that. And then I did nothing to avoid it except hurt myself even more. I need a new strategy. This one, obviously, isn't working. Here's a thought. I stay doing this one. Right. And I just stay on the clouds and aim down diagonally at him. Maybe that'll go well. I mean, compared to how things are going now, anything could go well. See, I got the first stage on lock. Nice. I don't look forward to his third stage, or his final stage. Because <sighs> I'm just imagining what that could possibly be. If this, if the fire part is so hard for me, imagine if it gets even more intense. Good, but it'll take all of that damage. And if I just stay here aiming down when I can. Ignoring the fires that keep haunting me. Yes, just like that. Not not like that, not like that, less like that. More like I had it the first time. Oh yeah. No, why'd he jump so fast and direct? What? What is this nonsense? <sighs> Let's talk about something that isn't the game right now. Why? How? How? Why? Okay. Anyway. Let's talk about something that isn't the game. Let's hear, you know, my opinions on things. Um, politics. No, but in the life of the great Jeff Vernier, uh, slash pixel off. No, I... Let me bring that up. I hate when YouTubers of which I guess I technically fall into that category, are like, yeah, you can call me by my YouTube name. Like, no, I, I have a screen name for a reason, but I'm a person. Call me Jeff. Like, I, I like to have a face and a name. I'm not some mystical icon. I'm a person, too. And that sounds vaguely like I'm trying to make myself seem more than I am, but I don't think so. I think everyone's like, oh, yeah, I'm a... Uh, Dragon Slayer 420 XX XX. Make sure to call me that. LOL 420, my bros. And it's stupid. Oh, but I was saying back to the life of Jeff Vernier. Good luck spelling that, by the way. Oof, got it. Uh, I just finished writing a play, of which I write many. Actually, I don't. I'm sure I've brought that up before. Uh, I have one. Shut up. No time to talk. Wait, no. I. St oh. Get the boomerangs out. Get the boomerangs out. Nope. Okay, if you pop the fire bubbles, they shoot four. Oh, man. One, two, three, you b b b better flee. <sighs> I'm not going to enjoy this. Anyway, I finished writing the third out of three 15-minute plays I've been working on. Uh, three different love stories. All male and female, because that's the way love goes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, could I edit that out? Should I edit that out? No, because it was a joke. Whatever. Sue me. Whatever. No one, not like anyone seriously watches these anyway. <laughs> um, but it's three love stories, all two characters, 
and it's all like love stories. Sorry, I'm far too distracted trying to fight this dragon. I'm <sighs> I'm a little tense. Okay, bite me. Uh, but the one I finished writing is called A Matter of Life and Seth. It's about this cocky guy, Seth, who thinks he's like an amazing kisser, and someone calls him out on being not one, and he flips out. He's like, but, but, why, I have to be. He calls a bunch of people he's kissed before, and he's like, I I'm a good kisser, right? And none of them really say yes. They're more like, oh, yeah, definitely, Seth, of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? And he's like, haha, see, proved you wrong, girl I'm on a date with. And I think it's funny. <laughs> I don't think dying is funny. And I keep dying, dying over and over and over. Wow, it's taken me like five minutes to try and tell this stupid story. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying now. Uh, but I think it's funny. I mean, I wrote it. I assume I think it was funny. But out of everything I've written, it's one of my favorites, I guess. I just get in the habit of dying in Cuphead, mostly. Uh, get in the habit of starting to write something and then not seeing it through to the end. I have nine unfinished plays I've started writing. Some of them have 20 pages, some of them have 30 pages, some of them have like one conversation that I know I want to be in it. But I definitely need, I just need to be a little more dedicated to it, which I'm very undedicated to it now. I hate doing that spinny move there because it always seems to drop me somewhere where it's going to hurt me. There we go. Just need to stay in one place for as long as possible. Good. Good. Third stage. Here we go. Why do you have to grow more? Okay, just don't hit the fires. This is all it is. If all it is is him shooting out... <laughs> Excuse me, honey. I was going to say, if all it is is him shooting those fires, I should be okay. But I should have assumed, you know, he would turn into a blowtorch and utterly wreck me. But I made it pretty well. I made it a third of the way in with only one point of health. And for having not seen any of his moves before in that stage, I think that's pretty good. I think by my standards, that deserves applause. So clap for me, peasants. There we go. He's about to die here real soon. I know that. I got the Duh. I got the timing decently down like I know when he's going to die pretty soon after he does that. Right? Watch. Yep, called it. I wonder if I should almost save the this move for his super dragon form. But then the more I think about it, no way. Like with the trouble these fires cause me, I just need to get this one done as soon as possible because I think I'll be good on the other one as long as I'm always dealing damage and not having damage dealt to me no oof, I saw him coming and I jumped another one another one where like two more shots would have put him over the edge I'll give it one more go I'll give this stupid dragon one more go and then it's over Nope. One more respectable go. I deserve that. The dragon deserves that. Think of it like this. When I was beating the Duchess of Candy World, whatever her name was, Peppermint Patty, uh, I said one more go, and then I won. I beat her that time. So maybe that's all I have to do is... One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. I just have to say one more and beat the first form without taking any damage. And then it'll be okay. All my problems will be solved. How does the boomerangers work here? I assume pretty well. I wish, like, it gave me numbers for damage. Because it's hard for me to rationalize it being better without me having, like, concrete evidence of how much it going backwards hurts versus just my normal forward shot. See? I'm doing pretty well. That did seem to go by quicker. I'll even throw a few of these off now, just so when they land... Yeah, here we go. Actually, that's a good idea. I'm just going to avoid the fires, and just throw these shots off. And we'll see how much quicker it goes. 
No fires are even... Haha, I was gonna say, no fires are even jumping. That's a little strange. Yes, get a lot of hits in like that. What if I make to the final form with all three pieces of health? Oh, ho, ho. here we go, buddy. How did I take damage? Here we go. There, take some of that. I'm going to take damage again. No. No, I can't do the backwards ones because... I can get him. The backwards one works way better on the fires running out of his mouth and the beginning, but it's this form that I need to just look at him and shoot when I can. Yeah. I can get him. I can get him. And maybe I will in the next episode. Actually, we've seen the final form. I'm just going to open the next episode with him dying so I can move to a better one. That's okay. Everyone's okay with that? Good. I made the decision. <laughs> Later.